All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. We got a brew today. Oh boy. So uh, this is a deck that Dom Harvey, uh, great guy, Star City uh, grinder and writer, posted on one of his articles uh, somewhat recently, and I saw it and I was like, "Yo, I gotta try that one." This is a Zer's Weirding Modern deck. Now, for those who don't know what Zer's Weirding does, which is Probably none of you, because everyone knows what Zerus Weirding does, right? Come on, let's get real. Zerus Weirding is a four mana blue enchantment. It says, players play with their hands revealed. If a player would draw a card, they reveal it instead. Then, any other payer, player may pay two life. If that player does, put the card in the graveyard. Otherwise, that player draws the card. So basically what this means is, every time your opponent draws a card, you can just say no and put it in the graveyard for the cost of two life. But both players can do this. So... Theoretically, if you're ever ahead on life, you can like lock somebody out of drawing cards at two life a turn. Uh, it's been played occasionally at times, but it's definitely an awkward card. Um, obviously, if you're behind, it does nothing. It just literally locks you out of the game. But this deck is built with that in mind. And of course, Euro, Titan, and Nature's Wrath showing up everywhere. Uh, play this card in a number of decks in Modern, Standard, Pioneer, everywhere. And this card works really, really well with this card. So obviously, they put the Euro in the graveyard. Great. They put other cards in the graveyard. Great. Cast your Euro. You know? Um, and... Yeah. you keep So with Euro, you keep eating life, which allows you to keep uh, denying them draws. Zer's weirding. And that's basically the combo. That's the idea. And otherwise, you're applying just, you know, basic kind of green-black stuff here. We're playing more discard spells than usual because the goal is just to get this game, get, get the game state to null. The goal is to get the game state to we both have nothing in play and no cards in hand. We play Zerus Weirding, you're locked out. We hit a Euro eventually, we're good to go. Of course, the wrench in the plan is if our opponent has Zerus Weirding, I mean, has Euro also. Well, we'll see. We got Scavenging Goose. Um, definitely a wacky brew. We also have Gilded Goose here as another combo element to our Zerus Weirding because Gilded Goose just gains three life a turn. And with all the life in the world, we can maintain our Zer's Weirding. We got two Vessel and they see to go find Zer's Weirding. We have all our discard spells. We got four pushes, Assassin's Trophy, Drive a Lock for removal. Uh, Liliana, again, helping us keep our hands empty if possible. Uh, one Courser of Crucifix, because why not, I guess. Scavenging Use, 24 lands, a couple, couple Tar Pits. And that's the main deck. Cyborg's got four Aether Gusts, so we got to deal with Primal Titan and Soul Scar Mage. And this does that pretty well. Rejections. I don't think this card's very good right now, but I'm just playing Dom's list, so whatever. Not sure what we're countering with Rejection. I guess uh, Eldrazi stuff? They have Chalice of the Void? I don't know. Uh, Tower Striker's obviously insane. Veil of Summer's obviously insane. Ashiok's fine. Extra Decay. Uh, let's lock some people out with Zerus Weirding. If you're hyped for that, let me know in chat, because I am I am ready to go here. And we are playing some Modern today. You're playing Modern tomorrow, too, actually. We have your deck lives to do tomorrow and Friday. I'm pretty backed up on them. We're trying to get them all get them all done. I've been traveling a ton lately. Uh, I was at in Anaheim for DreamHack. That was awesome. And then I was at PAX East last weekend. So I'm trying to catch up on all this stuff. Appreciate all of y'all uh, supporting me and maintaining your subs when I'm not streaming as much. Uh, not not going to happen too much anymore. It's happened to be a couple events in a row there. So uh, let's battle. Jank it up. KO, seven month reset. Welcome back, my friend. What's going on? Zer's weirding is going on. Let's a go. And remember, folks, I got some big news. All right. Coalesce Apparel, my sponsor. Coalesce Apparel and Design. They have a bunch of awesome shirts, right? Well, on Monday, this coming Mog Monday, which will be uh, March 9th at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be unveiling my shirt and it's awesome the design is phenomenal i cannot wait to get it and i can't wait for you to all get it all right so tune in monday morning 9 a.m for mog monday we'll be unveiling the new coalesce shirt my shirt promo code jim10 go buy some other shirts too while you're at it because all their designs are super fun check it out coalesceapparel.shop promo code jim10 let's go let's get weird Sure. Sounds great. You'll be in court Monday? We'll load that phone up. Let's go. Mog Monday. All right. So we just swamp. I guess getting swamp in our Euro deck is kind of awkward, but 
taking six for or taking four for Orthodoxies is also pretty pretty crappy. So, all right, let's go swamp. We can euro eventually, you know. Swamp Thoughtseize. Why is their thingy so fancy? All right, so they are playing Sunken Hollow. They're playing blue black Urso. He played against this deck earlier. Had a really insane match against Batahina. Uh, Magic Online Legend. We were playing Bant Snow Control. Missed that one. We up on YouTube. Deprive Astrolabe Fatal Push Urza. So don't care about push. Astrolabe, their mana is already good. Deprive is whatever, I guess. Just take the Urza. It's by far the best card. Seth, Seth says, One time I cast a wheel with Weirding in play in a six player game. That's insane. So every other player can play every other player's two. That's insane. All right, there's Astrolabe. There's Island. Thoughtseize again? Sure, I guess. Okay, they bricked. So they found a Mystic Sanctuary. Which kind of makes taking a, a Deprive not super worth it, but we're doing it. Let's resolve Liliana next turn. And play was tapped. So you go. Astrolabe, numero de. I think these are a little underplayed in like the blue, white, and blue control decks. I played one of these in uh, my blue, white control deck, the blue, white one, obviously. Prairie Stream was very, very good a long time ago. All right, they play Misty, they say go. We play Liliana of the Veil and start working on those hands. Catch these hands. Lay out of the veil. Let's go. What you got? There it is. Give me the plus. Cardboard Live is updated. They are ahead on cards. They have more cards than we do. But, and they can Sanctuary back a spell, I suppose. But, right, we'll ship Forest here. This card, Island, so their hand is Push, Hollow, Sanctuary, Card. Yes, they will eventually have have three islands in play. They can Misty for an island, play Sunken Hollow, and then their Sanctuary is good to go. But we shall see. Fetch Island. Play Sunken Hollow. Scavenging Ooze. Unfortunately, they have Fatal Push. So... We're going to plus and dump Assassin's Trophy, I think. See if I get it. We can get it to discard the push. Mr. Sinister! New subscriber, what's your name? Where are you from? Sinister, we played your deck yesterday. No spoilers. It'll be up on YouTube, I believe, on Friday. Sinister had a really sweet Teamer... Through the breach deck, it's guarded a delta. So I would say we're not going to play our scavenging goose into their fatal push. We'll just hold it and say go. Mister Sinister, what's your name? Where are you from? And month number two, the most important month, Owl Knight, with the big resub. Uh, appreciate that, Owl Knight. Thank you so much. Oh man, that is sick. They drew Jace the Mind Sculptor. Alright, we're in trouble. Uh, heads up in a fight, Jace stomps on Liliana. Yes, yeah, Assassin's Trophy, come back. Maybe we got too cute there. Maybe we got too cute. These decks are fairly threat light. And I figured, uh... I guess they had Urza to be bad too, but... Yeah, maybe we should just pitch the scavenging use. That might have been wrong. They brainstorming. They bobbling. No idea if that's there anymore. 
don't want to pitch land because we have a. I'm gonna get Euro out, but all right. We'll just play scavenging use plus. And say go. Scavenging use probably not long for this world, but there goes the prive. All right. It's pretty interesting. Ultimate is on tap, but I would like to keep the Liliana around, probably. We'll see what they do this turn, obviously. Brainstorm again. I think it's important to stand and stretch while I'm streaming. Let's stand right here now. Still stand, we'll stretch. We'll stretch off screen while they cast this brainstorm. Make sure we're stretching. Touch your toes. I can't touch my toes. I'm so far touching my toes. I'm so old. A little more stretching. Oh, yeah, I got a hockey game tomorrow night. Let them resolve this brainstorm. We're feeling good. All right, cool. I'm going to have a, a standing desk in my new office. What's dynamic stretching? I have a standing desk. Can I screen screen? They all just dance on the green screen while waiting for our opponents to resolve things. Oh god, they have Urza too? No. Back stretching. Like Sushi Dragon. Yeah. I'm gonna paint the whole wall green. It's my it's gonna be, it's gonna be our house, it's gonna be my office. I can do whatever I want. No, no. Notorious. Nothing? Just saying, yeah, all right. So let's eat their Urza, I guess. Maybe eating the Prive is better. The one life's not going to matter at all. Let's just turn off their ability to re revive us to Prive. Okay. Draw. Cryptic, bounce, tap. All right. Draw. Inquisition of Kozilek. Right. I mean, fire us off. What you got over there? They have an Urza? God damn it. Urza push Talisman? That's bad. Yeah, I mean, obviously there are two brainstorms of Jace, probably were really, really good. Uh, let's get the push, keep our scavenging is alive, I guess. So we're going to keep their Urza, and we are going to hope we can somehow win the game. So I suppose Zer's weird isn't great against Jace. you got to pay six life to deny their entire thing. Although if you deny some of the draws, they can put the, hands, they can put the cards back though, right? That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's an Urza. Yeah. Urza's really messed up. Alright, so let's uh let's eat the Urza. Make our thing into a 3-3. Powerful. Let's untap and draw. There's Euro. Uh I guess we'll just start there. I feel like Euro is a little late here, I'm not going to lie. It's also funny, we might be exiling this Euro or scavenging use just to be able to attack this Jace. We'll see what we draw here. We draw another Euro. Okay. I mean, that could be worse. Um, let's attack Jace. Why not plus and just escape it? I mean, I wanted the counter for the thing, and I also want to edict them. We gotta. I don't think putting a six six in play is very good right now. They have a Jace, just bounce it and kills with, with Urza. We need to be attacking Jace. We need to be edicting them. So, okay. So this kills Jace, and we're gonna edict away the construct and just hope they can't kill us, basically. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. And we say go and pray. Earth is going pokey. Earth is going pokey. They got two cards. Now they have the ability to Mystic Sanctuary. So let's, let's eat this Cryptic Command, I guess. And I guess they have six. It looks like that was a really fast response. Oh, now they're now they're pausing. I mean, I want to cast Euro next turn anyway, which means that we're not going to be able to uh, stop the push. So I guess we'll just get it. We're, we'll exile it. They're probably going to do it response, whatever. I guess if I draw a land, I can still have the ability to do it. Yeah, I guess we'll want that. If they block my Jace with Urza, we, we, we exile the Euro, make this a 4 4, and kill it. And whatever dies, we eat the other one. And they wanted to keep Urza in play. So. That was actually pretty awesome. Um, okay, so now we're gonna escape. We're gonna play, we're gonna play Euro and use it for, to fatal push this Urza, which feels great. Assuming no counter spells, but uh, we drew a Gilded Goose, a little honker here. They could obviously counter my my push here, but. Whatever, I guess. I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it right now. I guess I could attack first. Sure. Let's attack first. Alright. I mean... Let's cast this. See what happens. I also want the ability to exile the Fatal Push, possibly. So it's very dependent on what they do here. So if he's, we, don't, we, don't, we don't play the Goose, we can't pump the Liliana. All right, they're going to Urza in response, it looks like. Urza flips. Oh, they're going to Whirr for two? Ugh. That's probably not good for us. Uh, okay. Thopter Foundry. Okay. Fetch. Okay. Mystic Sanctuary to put... The were on top, and we just exile it. Sure. Okay. And they have Archmage's Charm to counter the push. Okay. Uh, I guess we done got played. I guess. So they have a th they have Foundry Urza, and no cards in end. I don't think we want to plus Liliana because I mean, should we have uptick before combat? I didn't necessarily want to do it before Goosed. Maybe we should have. Maybe. You know, like it does certainly limit their options if they have two spells they want to cast. So and the Goose is not like that important. So maybe we should have honestly. I think it was pretty clear we, we, were, we weren't casting Goose. We, we, we needed to leave mana up for Ooze. So that might have been a mistake not to plus before combat. For sure. We plus now, but just attack it. I think we just leave it. I don't think Liliana's important anymore. So I'd rather just have a Goose next turn. I mean, now they have two pieces and we just find a way to get the sword that just kill us. So we had Revolt, yes, from the, the Uro sacrifice. Can trip Mox Sapphire. Pretty good. Uh, 
All right, spin the Urza. War of Invention. Cast it for zero to get Bobble. And play Mystic Sanctuary. Man, this is sick. This deck seems messed up. And now they just draw the thing on our turn and were for... Oh, they can't were for two. Yeah, this card's kind of dumb. Good old Modern Horizons, you know? I mean, we can't stop them from getting... from resolving a were, so we're just dead. Because we can shuffle their deck somehow. Don't know what we can draw here. I don't think it's anything, but... Oh, come on. They have the were on top of their deck. We cannot interact with it in any way. Even if we draw Assassin's Trophy, they can decline to search. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I lied. Never mind. We do avoid interact. Better, lucky, than good. There's no way we can use Scavenging to stop the sword. They have multiple artifacts in play to sacrifice for revise. So. That was it, though. That was the case card that we didn't even know about. So we had two copies of this in our deck. We got super lucky and drew one. As they say, better lucky than good. Now, if they were mad smart, they cast it for X equals a million. But they still have enough cards in their graveyard, so... Ding! Why don't we kill Urza? Because they have this word to get a sword and have Thopter Sword. Then they'd have a dead Urza, but they'd have Thopter Sword in play, so. In response, spin Urza. Hit Cryptic Command. Pluto Delta. Sweet. So you're telling me there's a chance that we're attacking for a lot next turn. They can obviously sacrifice things for trump blockers, but... What do we have? We have uh, three other pushes and another Assassin's Trophy to kill this Urza. And we also have Xur's Weirding, but they, they can just fire off the Urza. So Xur's Weirding doesn't really matter. We gotta kill this Urza. We need Decay's in our board, right? Yeah. Liliana also, yeah. That would be... A, no, that doesn't work because they have tokens yeah Mystic Sanctuary is kind of dumb I guess they can get Mystic Sanctuary they, they, they have four Mystic Sanctuaries you think to get back the were well if they do they're putting it in their hand so you can, now you can just draw Thoughtseize by having the bobble go off on their turn not our turn it's pretty weird Opponent says, Gur, what am I doing? I got no idea. Hopefully we draw thoughts to punish them. Draw. Tax step. God damn it. Alright, well, we're dead. Big tilts. Oh, they didn't block. We could put them to one. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, I guess we're um I guess we are just playing another Euro. So put them to two.
If only I discarded the goose. Yeah, I know. But they can, they can gain a life off the, off the foundry anyway, so. Uh, we're going to keep this new one. Zer <sighs> if we had one more land, I guess I could actually just like... No, nah, that, that would do it. If we had one more mana to cast, that would actually do it. That's so sick. Oh, man. One more land, this game's over. They can never draw it, and they can't cast it for free with Urza. They can, like, do shit, obviously, but... Oh, man. Oh, it's in their hand already. I'm so dumb. It, if they had played properly, this would have been live. But they... <laughs> That's so funny that in chat they're like, God, what am I doing? Because they obviously, like, opened themselves up to Thoughtseize. But they actually were inadvertently playing around Xur's weirding without realizing it. That's good TV. That's good TV. Oh, boy. All right. Um, what do we want? What do we want? We're going to want Veil of Summer. We're going to want Tireless Tracker. Ashiok honestly doesn't seem that bad. I want the discard. Fatal Push is awkward because it's like not great. It does kill Emery though too. Uh, I would say Corsair is bad. I would say... I'm not really thrilled about Assassin's Trophy, honestly. Giving them more land really sucks. Uh, oh, Decay is good too. Eh, is it good? It can't kill... It kills Emery. It doesn't kill Urza. Or Jace. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think Decay is good. It kills Doctor Foundry, I guess, but... Let's shave, like, a push or two. We have Drown the Lock also, and Trophy, and Liana. So we have plenty of ways to kill things, I guess. We're playing a lot of lands in this deck. We're playing 24 lands, 4 Gilded Goose. I don't mind shaving a land on the draw. I'm just, like, mad greedy. I don't think Creeping Tar Pit's ever going to matter. Um, I could cut a Euro, because we could have cut a Graveyard Hate. Honestly, Ashiok was pretty good out of the board of our Bant deck earlier. Oh, on the play, duh. I'm still cutting the land. It's a Thoughtseize matchup. Um, I don't think cutting a Euro is crazy. How do I stretch for hockey games? All the basic hockey stretches, just like leg stuff. I am not sure about this, but we'll figure it out. Ashiok turns off War. It like exiles their graveyard, which has some benefits, but... Yeah, I mean, they can't fetch. I mean, no deck can fetch with Ashiok in play, obviously. Rejection just seems bad. Like, I don't know what we're, what we're ever rejecting that matters. All their important cards are, co are colored. So, alright, let's go first. Uh, the old goose vassal. Alright, uh, we're gonna keep this. I guess we're gonna open on goose. Duck, 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 goose, hunk, hunk. Stop the stops the stops the uh, mystic sanctuaries. Yeah, it's true. Maybe we want Ashiok. I mean, maybe we like don't want um, want Zer's weirding, honestly. But I don't know. When you're playing a Mimi deck, it's hard to sideboard properly because like it might be strategically correct to board out your Mimi cards, but you don't want to do that. So it's a little, you know. Hunk. 
So ideally, Vessel of Nascency finds a Zer's Weirding, but also puts a Euro in the graveyard. Goodbye, Scavenging Ooze. Where'd this Watery Grave come from? Alright, just ship. So, Vassal... Vassal. Nuclear... Wessels. Vessel searches for artifacts, creature, enchantment, or land, or planeswalker. So not artifact. Nope. What permanent type can this not find? Artifact, creature, enchantment, land. Why, why does it say permanent? Ashiok, Dream Render. Well. What a jerk. Oh, I should have fetched, yeah. I don't want to put the card in the graveyard, but obviously that was stupid. No, it finds Planeswalkers too. Artifact creature, enchantment, lander, Planeswalker. Yeah, we can just, like, kill it, I guess. Target player targeting themselves, targeting me. Alright, that's fine. So, let that resolve. We exiled. Up, oh, it's all weirding. It's, it's so white-bordered and, like, in your face, too. You can't possibly miss it. All right, so we'll uh, we'll ask Trophy this thing, and then we'll crack our fetch and crack a food and vessel. Let's get weird, you know? Let's get an uh, island, I guess. Make it green, their extra food, and vassal. There's the weirding. Let's get weird. If they have mystical dispute, they suck. <sighs> Damn, we were in hot, folks. Let's lock them up here. Charm, Jace, and two lands. Well, Jace is pretty good, I guess, but... Let's get weird. Yeah, but we can't pay that much life. We don't have infinite life, you know? Pay two life to put Mr. Rain Forest into the, uh, into my graveyard? What? Uh, and they mean their graveyard, right? So, no. They can draw the Misty. Oh, they have the stupid Sanctuaries, too. Mystic Sanctuary. That'd be so funny if it went to my graveyard. Our cards start going everywhere and things get really weird. Alright, so they play Jace, they brainstorm, we just pay four life, and they have to put multiple cards back on top. We just can't do that every turn, though, you know? We're also not going to draw a relevant card. Let's, let's, let's say we have a Euro on top. So This is definitely a weird, weird game state. Alright, so they play Jace. Sure. Without Jace, this game is locked up, I think, because we, we gain three a turn off the goose, and we're good to go. But with Jace, we can't play pay eight life a turn, you know? If 
They are really in the tank here. 2019 Vintage Championship. Well, it's up, opponent. Do you want to just go up? You want to bounce the Gilded Goose? Yeah, I think just going up every turn and then ultimating is definitely a good plan. Um, and locks out of drawing cards. Fate Seal us. Leave the card on top. Okay. Fatal Push entered the revealed card zone. They let us draw it. Okay. I guess we just say go. Yeah, I think Jace might beat us here. Also, you find a Euro in like our top two cards. Yeah, you have to have two Euro in a row. They are thinking about it. They are they are in the tank here. Things getting a little too weird for you, my friend. Things getting a little too weird. Snow-covered swamp. Uh, they can have it. Jace to Fate Seal. Put a card on top again? God, so lucky. Breeding pool. Mm. Well, only Guilty Goose was a 1-2, you know? Inquisition of Kozilek. Uh... I guess? I don't know. Sure. I don't really know, honestly. It's like, they could, like, later on maybe find a way to put Urza in play and our pushes. I don't, I don't even know. What's up, Bernardo? Uh, if you're interested in seeing your deck on the stream in some way, I do $10 deck decks. I also do uh, a show called Your Deck Live, where I play your deck live on stream. All information on that is on my website. I mean, I don't think we uh, could possibly win this game. I think they topped again. Oh, they bottoms. Here we go. Big Euro draw. Verdant Catacombs. God damn it. I wish you could see we bottomed, you know? I mean, they might have bottomed something else, you know? I don't know. Ely! Ely Cassis, big fat raid, 189. Thanks, Ely, I appreciate that. Ely is one of my, my magic nemesis. Uh, Ely beats me literally every time we play. I'm probably 0-10 against him. And it doesn't matter the matchup, the format, limited, constructed, modern. He beat me. We tested on the same team for Pro Tour Barcelona. He beat me in the draft, even though my deck was better. Um, beat me in Grand Prix, beat me in Opens. Beat me in a bad matchup in an open. He just beats me literally every time. So please have pity on me, Ely's viewers, and follow my stream because Ely's taking everything from me. Everything. I guess Ely does beat everybody, basically, because he's a master. But, yeah. But, yes, if you're just doing it, we're playing this crazy uh, Zer's Weirding deck where the goal is to gain life with Euro and Gilded Goose and lock him out with Zer's Weirding. However, they have uh, a Jason play already, which means we are probably super dead. We have to hit two Euros in a row, and they put a card on top of my deck. And they probably should do that no matter what, so we fetch, but we're going to fetch anyway, so. Holy Diver! What's up, Holy Diver? Alright, so... We need a Euro on top of our deck this turn right now. 
Blooming Marsh. Blooming Marsh. Not good. Not good. Uh, I guess... Nah, that's it. We're just dead. Uh, we're just gonna concede. Uh, Alright, yeah. So, Zero's weirding. Not very good against Jace the Mind Sculptor. Not very good against James the Mind, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Um, but yeah, so I can show you all this deck right now. That's match one. Opponent's deck seems uh, pretty sweet. We, we played a Bant Snow Control deck before this match. Like, Bant Snowblade without Stoneforge Mystics. And we beat Batahina playing that deck. That was a good match. Missed out a bit on YouTube. But um, here's our deck right now. So again, the, the point of a deck is to play Zerus Weirding, empty their hand, play, play Weirding, lock them out, and then we have Euro, where they can put it in the graveyard, we could cast it anyway, and Gilded Goose can gain us three life returns, so we can maintain the Zerus Weirding lock. Is it going to work? I have no idea. This is Dom, Dominic Harvey's deck. Uh, Dom's a really great dude. And writes for Star City, travels Star City Tour, and it was in one of his articles. I saw it. I said I had to play it. Holy Diva, you great. I look forward to your screenshots on Twitter every day. Holy Diva is the Team of Battle Rage, Kill Your From 22 Life master. And she posts murder shots on Twitter all the time of just like, oh wait, Kill and Fiend, turn through, you're dead. Seconds before disaster. Yeah, it's great. Love it. Follow, follow Holy Diva as well. All right. Yes. As I said, I'll reset it for all of Illy's viewers as well. Uh, Coalesce Apparel, my sponsor. Awesome shirts, awesome magic apparel, super comfortable. They're making me a shirt. This Mog Monday, that's right, this coming Monday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, my shirt gets revealed. It is goblin themed for Mog Monday, and I am super stoked because the design is awesome. Awesome. Cannot wait. Coalesce, Gym 10, 10% off your order. My shirt is coming. It's almost here. It's almost here. Here. Yes. Uh, I went 5-5 five and five at the Mythic Championship playing Goblins. I lost to Hogak three times. One Hogak opponent had multiple Plague Engineers in the sideboard, which is very, very rude. Um, but yeah. Dildarius, what's up, my friend? Appreciate you hanging out. All right, let's mulligan here. Opponent also mulligan, so that's good. Uh, yeah, I think it's good. Keep this and ship probably a Euro. Can't watch the VOD? Yes, VODs are locked for subs only. You gotta have some perks for subs, you know? Yeah, we're gonna ship a Euro here. You guys are all land, but our hand's okay. So yeah, I went 5-5. Five and five. Um, All my wins were incredibly lopsided. All my losses were very, very close. I lost to the Hardened Scales player who top aided, and I feel like I could have won. Um, it's one of those matches where like I feel like I, I should have probably won I lost an insanely close one to burn where it was just like last turn you're dead in the last round um, and then I lost to Hogak three times and I think I misevaluated my Hogak matchup a little bit um, all the lists at the Pro Tour were obviously much more tuned than the lists um, I was playing against online which is unfortunate but um, also the Plague Engineers are just brutal like I don't know who it was can you hero some Japanese player and just like plague engineered me like a thousand times after board all right so they have a thought not seer that kind of sucks but what's up Bill watch on YouTube first time catching a stream Bill what's up Bill happy to have you the old turn three thought not seer looks at our hand wants to know what the hell is going on um Probably take push, I would think. This is certainly a deck we can lock out with weirding if we can get there. Let's look Liliana. Interesting. Bill, you're a sub now. Thanks, Lord Dragon. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. New subs. All right. So super, super, super awkward. If this was any other black land, we could have gotten Euro, put it into play, and then push the Thought Not Seer. Uh, but it's not. So I think we're going to... um. I think we're trying to Courser. Because the Euro will trigger Revolt to kill the Thought Nuts here. But, pretty awkward. Not a, not a great draw. We're just going to Courser group fix. If our top card's any land that comes in on tap, it makes black. Whatever, I guess. Also blocks the Matter Shaper, which is good. Alright, no. So, alright. So there you go. Hope there's, not the, hope there's no Smasher in our future here. Blast Zone. 
the Eldrazi nut draw. Just eating off on us here. We have, we have a number of shots at a land, which is good, so... If we kill Thought Knot, we can get back in this game. Another Fatal Push? Tilt. Alright, Euro. I need a land here that comes into play untapped. Black land. No! They're all gonna laugh at you! Tilt. Oh god, now our, now our text reveal. Like I said, they saw it already. Alright, um... I mean, no smasher here. And we still survive. We can untap and maybe, like, block and push some stuff. I don't know. Uh, so they have a ballista and we're dead? Maybe? Maybe not. Five, eh, maybe not. Honestly, if we resolve a Euro, can they beat a 6-6? Six, six? Ali from England, sweet. Favorite card is definitely Siege Rhino. was it mean to be in the sellout club. Uh, you're a new sub. So when you sub, it's $5 a month. You get access to all my emotes, access to my VODs. You can watch the stream after the stream's already over. Um, you get... Uh, Christmas card every year. Um, what are the other perks, Lord Draken? What are the perks of being a sub? Okay, so our top card is Vessel of Nascency. So we've drawn not too great here. Um, we can... I don't even know what we can do. They can pump the blast up and just kill us too. I guess we have pushes. I don't know. Don't think there's a way out here. Uh, we're not really close to Euroing. Let's see what's up. The old Warping Whale. You'll love to see the old war. Oh, they're putting a token in play. Oh, okay. Emmercool, the promised end. Uh. Alright. Uh, say go. I mean, yeah, we get to um, we get to tar pit and block, and then block, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven, twelve. They are really close to casting Evercool. So fire up tarp. Oh my god, I clicked the wrong one. Unreal. We were we were we were we were not winning this game anyway. That's frustrating though. I mean, we were gonna block Horser on Smasher and creeping tarpet on Seer. We're gonna take two damage and go to two. Push the thought not Seer, and then if we drew like land, we could have gone push the Scion and. Pump the Euro. We actually had a chance to win that game. Ah, never mind. Our top card was Zer's weird again. <laughs> Alright. I mean, that was obviously pretty annoying. Um, I guess the old Rejexi's come in. And Decay. We're going to shave down on... Push play, don't... Oh, you're right. You can't float mana anymore, obviously. You're right. You're right. Target player's correct. Had no chance to win. Totally dead. Um, what are we cutting here? I do feel like we're playing too many lands. <laughs> Again, realistically, we should probably cut down on some of these if we're trying to win the game. But... Come on. That's what we're trying to do right now. Oh, I don't, we, we gotta lock someone, all right? We gotta lock someone. All right, I don't think Corsair is particularly great. Draw the lock, Assassin's Trophy, push. I don't think Inquisition's very good either, honestly. They could have Chalice, too. Um, 
I just want to play, so it's still, like, fine, but... Honestly, Drown and Lock isn't very good either. All the cards are very expensive, and they're not going to have any cards in their graveyard, probably. Yeah, Leaf Courser. Let's try this. I think boarding and Tracker also isn't crazy. Like, we might win more games if we cut two, two weirding for two trackers, but... If you haven't followed, share with that follow button. Of course, we're going to YouTube. Make sure you follow on there. Zer's Weirding says Dom Harvey, Zer's Weirding deck. I want to lock at least one person. All right. We played a more serious deck earlier. It was the Bant Snow Control deck. That'll be up on YouTube. You missed it. And uh, we got Your Deck Lives tomorrow and Friday, where I play Your Deck Live on stream. And on Sunday, too. And yeah, we're, we're back. We were uh, busy at PAX East for a couple days. And this is going to be a mulligan. All right, uh, this is better. We're gonna keep this. Do we ship land or weirding? We're gonna keep the weirding, I think, and ship a land. Honestly, tar pit seems pretty bad. All right, we're gonna get a green black duel and Inquisition. Then turn two vessel tap land and turn three pop a vessel, I guess. As if the cards could be any smaller in that little window. Their hand is Map, Matter Reshaper, All is Dust, Smasher, One Tron Land. Uh. Huh. All is Dust certainly breaks the Weirding Lock. Um. Taking Map. What do they get? Eldrazi Temple? Like, it makes Smasher come out war one turn one turn sooner. Yeah, they just matter shaper. If they spike a Tron, Tron land on us and they're able to, to Tron us, whatever. So, Urza's Mine, map. Rejection. Don't hate to see that. I guess they have Cavern of Souls, but... If they do spike the Tron and they want to go turn 3 Tron, I think they can't do that. Alright, so there's Blast Zone, which is fine. Let's fetch a uh, blue-green land, I guess. They have Blast Zone for Weirding Lock, too. It is really annoying. Yeah, They have, like, 17 ways to beat our Weirding Lock, which kind of sucks. They got a Tron Land. They did not get Temple, which is interesting. Oh, oops. Alright, let's fetch, uh... Watery Grave tapped and Vassal. There's a Euro. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll take the land, I guess. We can cast the Euro. Sure. So, if we were to try and play Xur's Weirding this turn, they would just be able to Blast Zone it or Smasher me or All is Dust. Although, we play Weirding this turn. What are they going to do? And then we get to play Euro the following turn. And once the Euro is in play, things look pretty good. And they have to have enough lands in their hand to be able to cast this All's Dust. We, we also have rejection for the All's Dust. Yeah, and Blast Zone for four takes forever, and the Euro will just kill them in that time frame. Yeah, we're we're gonna cast the the Weirding, right? Weirding this turn, Euro next turn, or Euro this turn, Weirding next turn. Actually, I think it's the Euro this turn. Just one draw step, and we just get a Euro in play. 
Euro seems insanely good against them. Like, they've always struggled with a 6 6. Have you got thoughts these? It's kind of cute. Alright, bombs away, I guess. Their hand is Wastes. Wastes. Tectonic Edge, Cavern of Souls, All is Dust, Reality Smasher. Oh, Eldrazi Tron. Uh. I guess it's Smasher because we have rejection for all his dust. So, all right, I guess you're up. <laughs> Did not put a counter on Blossom. All his dust is, is an Eldrazi, but it is not a creature. Cavern of Souls only casts creature spells for the colored mana. Tectonic Edge, sure. When you gotta get an edge. Smasher matters if they draw more Smashers, basically. Okay. Well, Liliana sucks, obviously, because they have 4,000 lands in their hand. Um, they can Tech Edge my blue source that I play. Or that I put... Whatever. Let's, uh... Let's get weird. So, start paying life and the game's over. Now they blast zone. Now they blast zone. So they have no outs now, right? What are their outs? Game's locked up. Ugin the Ineffable. Graveyard. Bye-bye. It's a fancy looking Ugin. Blooming Marsh. May I please draw Blooming Marsh? Yes, I may. Thank you. Sorry, Ugin. It's a little weird in here, you know? We draw Fatal Push. Want to give me that one? Nope. Oh, they, they, they did. They did. All right, so... Euro goes in and attacks. Uh, do we play Liliana? I guess. We just play it, right? Uh, you're up. This game is just a lock. I guess they can blast on my Euro and then I just cast it again, so whatever. Uh, you're up. Walking Ballista. Graveyard. They play a Wastes. We draw a card. We draw Overgrown Tomb. We can have it. They're going to pop the Blast Zone. All out. That's true. They could attack Edge of My Blue and chose not to. Which is going to be uh, not too good for them. Guess who's back? Back again. I did tap out of blue, though. But it doesn't matter, because they can't cast all of us next turn anyway, because they can't draw a card, so... So yeah, Tech Edge is the blue source, and the game gets a little more interesting, but... Locked him out. Lock him up. Throw away the key. That's our first lock. We gotta get a little counter on, counter on stream right now. Hold on. We need a counter. Uh, 
Oh, uh, whoops. There we go. Perfect. This deck auto lose to dredge? Uh, probably. <laughs> Let me hear that back. Let's do that again. That was fun. Lock him up. Lock him up. Hopefully we'll never have to find out. I agree with that statement. I agree. No dredge, please. No dredge. I'm not even sure how Dredge interacts with Xur's Weirding. Judge. I believe they're both replacement effects, so they would just Dredge anyway. Nothing would happen, I think. Look at this hand. Point of Mulligans to six. I kind of want to keep. Keep or Mulligan? What do you think? On the draw, they've mulliganed. So, unless they have two Chalice of the Voids in hand, we just rip their hand apart because they have only six cards in the play. What do y'all think, chat? What do y'all think? Use your Keeper Mulligan emotes. I gotta make the Keeper or Mulligan emotes into uh, channel point prizes so everyone can use them. Keep... Mulligan, it's terrible against any three or more land hand. They only have four cards in their hand. And we got the old Lockski. Draw land. Oh, yeah. oh, just draw land, too. How about that? Is that cool? Just draw land, you know? Their four card hand is Reality Smasher, Warping Whale, Blast Zone. All right, so they have Tron, which is not great for us, but. So, top of their deck might be a little scary. Power plant. Well, Blooming Marsh. It's true. We can't thought seeds top for the top of their library. They warping wield, and that means they drew a good card. And you know what that means? Oh, never mind. They they put a scion. Oh, they were countering it. All right. So they have blast zone Urza's tower. Sure. Uh, we're going to say go. I guess we'll push the Scion so we can Liliana the, the next thing they play. Map number two. End tower. Blast zone still in hand. Try to survive one draw step and get weird. It's all you have to do. Can we do it? <laughs> Fourth thought season. All right. Um, we're going to get an island. We're going to play Liliana the Veil. We're going to plus. And I need a prayer from chat, please. We need them to break for one turn. And we need to draw land. So, and find a euro. Cherry Man with the raid, 97. Connor McDavid. Cherry, thanks for the raid. Appreciate that. Oh, God. I said brick. Oh, God. It's even worse. Oh, that's not good. They did not, they did not brick. Crap. If you're sitting here playing this crazy Zer's weirding deck, we locked our opponent out last game, but uh, their draw of this game is pretty good. And uh, might be going to game three here. We are currently 0-1. That's, that's a pretty sick draw. We just need them to draw like a matter of shaper for one turn or like some crappy card. And they did not do that. 
That's a Blooming Marsh. And we are dead. Alright. That's fine. That's fine. Can't can't thought see his top of their deck, you know? You can with Zar's Weirding, actually, but we couldn't uh couldn't get there. We needed one turn and the draw on tap land, I guess, but one turn to get the weirding online and turn him off. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. That was the match too. Brutal. Alright, we're 0-2. We're 0-2, but we do have one. We have one Zer's Weirding lock. If you're still gonna have not follow, share with that follow button, of course. If you're watching on YouTube, welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, this is our deck. That's right. The goal is to get Zer's Weirding out, deny our opponent drawing cards, and then, and then they can't deny us Euro. It just goes to the graveyard. We recast it. And uh, Gilded Goose, same thing. Gain some life. And put him in the lock. That's what we're trying to do. What's up, Real DK? How's it going, my friend? Let's go. I want to remind you all streams brought to you by bcwsupplies.com. Number one source for all your uh, your game supply needs. Of course, Ely Cassis, who rated before, is a member of Team BCW. I used to be on Team BCW, but decided to travel a little less. But regardless, the gear is fantastic. Check it out. All right, bcwsupplies.com. Promo code GYM10 for your 10% 10, 10 off your order. Uh, the Elite 2 sleeves, best sleeves in the market. The binders are great. The deck boxes are great. Everything's great. Promo code GYM10, bcwsupplies.com. Check it out. Also, coolstuffinc.com, where my articles go up. Coolstuffinc.com, I do a video Monday, article Friday, and uh, you should be reading all of those, basically. Free content every day, no paywall. Coolstuffinc.com, also you can buy basically whatever you want, game-related, card games, board games, miniatures, magic cards. Promo code GYM5, 5% off your order. Coolstuffinc.com, go buy your Zers Weirdings right now. That's right, right now. What's up, Carmichi, which one? Which Carmichi is that? Uh, let's go. All right. Okay. We can keep this. Seen better, but we can keep this. The old weird skis. Let's get weird. Let's get weird. Uh, Gilded Goose. Dom, what's up, Dom? How you been, my friend? A long time. Me and Dom used to play Magic together way back in the day at our local store, like, a decade or so ago. Honker. Turn two Lily on the play. It's not, not bad, I guess. Got the old weird skis. Got the old weird skis going. Sheldock Isle? Uh, I guess that card's good against Zer's Weirding. Never seen Zer's Weirding before, huh? There it is. In all its glory. Vessel of Nascency. Okay. Uh, probably just playing Liliana here. What are we shipping? Probably just card Fatal Push, I guess. I doubt creatures matter in the Sheldock Isle deck, so. Thassa's Oracle. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if they're playing Mill, they have Hedron Crab, but. People are saying it had some sort of ad nauseum deck. I have no idea. They're trying to get weirder than we are. If that's possible. Let's draw a land. And be able to vessel, I guess. And then cast Zer's Weirding. We need some more mana. It's ad nauseum less ad nauseum. Okay. Chillin', working, dadding, and fighting. Sweet. That's awesome. Getting back in the moto life, getting that arena life, too. You know? Happy to hear you're doing well. That's great. Uh, so they scry to the bottom. We draw Drown in the Lock, which is probably fine, honestly. We need to draw lands, realistically. Um, I think we're probably making a food. We're going to plus... I think we're ditching Scavenging Ooze. And then next turn, we can go Vessel, Crack It. Discarded another Thassa's Oracle. Alright, I guess, uh... 
We also have his Liliana going to ultimate too, so it's kind of cool. Having this swamp is actually pretty annoying because it means we're, we're an extra mana away from casting Euro. That sucks. City of Brass. All right. Uh, sure. I guess if they play Inverter next turn, it's pretty annoying, right? They just have a, they just have a two card deck with two Thassa's Oracles. All right, we drew our land, which is good. Um, so now he probably can just. That's probably just weirding right now, right? The problem is if I'm weirding right now and they just have the inverter. I guess we just can't beat inverter anyway, right? What, what are we going to do? We can't drama lock anything. We can't mill them. We can't stop it. Um, does weirding beat inverter? Oh, duh. It, it, they just don't draw Oracle. Duh. Yeah, of course. I'm stupid. Um, yeah. Actually. You're right. Unless they have an other Oracle in their hand, which is true. But, um, all right, so let's get Breeding Pool. Maybe it should have been Island, actually. But now I can play Vessel and activate it, so it's probably worth it. Let's get Weird. And then we're plusing Lily, I guess, and probably discarding the Drown the Lock. Having the counter spell doesn't seem that bad. Yeah, having an Oracle under Shellock Isle is pretty annoying if you can't stop it. All right, their hand is Inverter, Angel's Grace, Thassa's Oracle. So their hand is literally the nuts. It's perfect. Um, but we have the Drown the Lock, I guess. So we, if they go for Inverter, we just deny the draw of an Oracle, deny the draw of Oracle, and counter the Oracle. So now we're going to discard the vessel. Nuclear vessels. So far, drawing the lock's been surprisingly good. All right, so they discarded the Angel's Grace. We also have a, a Liliana ultimate next turn too. So, um, oh duh. Not gonna have a graveyard. Well, once we we can also like Liliana them too, and we're also gonna deny some draw steps. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. I, I don't even. This is everything's getting really weird. Pay two life to put Talisman of Dominance into their graveyard. Don't want to let them draw Talisman of Dominance. Um. I guess. It's fine, right? I don't think that matters. They play gemstone mine. And then like, then what? They want to invert her. They'll have a three card deck. I can deny all their draws. And then we kill the... No, we're going to be one short. Yeah, I don't think we have a way... No, we're good. Yeah, because we, we deny a draw and eat them. And they'll have two cards in the graveyard. We counted the Oracle and we win. They said in chat, I hate City of Brass so much. They tapped blue, 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 white. And they can't untap it because of City of Brass. That's why you gotta announce your spells first.
So it's it kind of sucks because I actually they just lose the game if they cast Inverter here. But now they've like misclicked. Um, they Inverter. All right, there's a scoop. So what would happen is they cast Inverter. Their deck becomes Oracle, Oracle Grace. And they have an Oracle in their hand. I edict them. They sack Inverter. On their draw step, I deny them a draw, put it in the graveyard. They cast Oracle. I counter it. They're locked out of the game and they lose. So... They're complaining in chat they mistapped, but they actually would have lost the game anyway, so... Okay. Okay. Does that count as a weirding lock? I think it does. What do you think, chat? Does that count as a weirding lock or no? Assuming that Sheldon doesn't have a Jace or Oracle under it. True. That is fair. Um, we couldn't stop that, too. Does that count? Yes? All right. Book it. And what is this? Window capture? Zero's weirding lock. That's two. All right. Um. So now what? <laughs> Rejection counters inverter. <laughs> Amusingly, uh, fatal push seems really bad. Like that TV Risa. Welcome back. Yep, Nicole and I will be at the New Jersey Regionals, which is actually kind of like the Philly Regionals. It's right outside of Philly. Um, Ashiok doesn't seem good against them. They might board like to ferry or something. Trophy seems bad, I guess. Courser seems bad. Well, I guess Ashiok just decks them, right? I think if they go for the uh, the thing without trying to win all in one shot. Scavenging use also just seems kind of mopey. They brought in four Veil Summer and probably four Leyline. Yeah, maybe. Let's bring in Ashiok and Decay. I have literally no idea what's right. I don't know if these are good, honestly. This counters... I just ended up playing Lotus Bloom. This counters Lotus Bloom and it counters the Inverter. Alright, whatever. Gummy Squids, you're playing our opponent's deck. Could have a uh, minus six Liliana to select, or fight, select Hideaway Land and Inverter in other lands. That's true. That's true. Definitely a very weird game there. Oh, come on. All right, Mulligan. Opponent Mulligan's also. This hand is significantly better. Uh, I'll keep this one. I think we ship a Catacombs. Put a ball against the five cards. Hideaway land. Good old Shell Dock Isle. Raise your hand in chat. If you've ever activated a Shell Dock Isle in a Cube Draft, it feels nice. Their hand is Inverter, Jace, Oracle, Serum Visions. Uh, pretty sure we're going to get the Serum Visions here. They got a ways to go. Got a ways to go. Sea Chrome Coast, lucky. Kind of a ways off of casting inverter, but they put a card on top, probably a land. Um, right. Both, I mean, Jace is actually just like kind of good against us. Um. Uh, can we actually cast Liliana here? I don't know if 
we can. What deck would I recommend for regionals other than Amulet? Whatever you're comfortable with. It's just modern. Amulet's good. It's still modern, you know? All right, we're going to... Um, Yes, I agree. If, they, if I play Liliana and they have a land, we lose. But if I if they have a land and they play Jace, we're gonna be in big trouble anyway. If we have Tar Pit to attack the Jace, it doesn't feel good. But alright, let's play Goose and play Atlantis. I go. Honk. It's no less likely than if they hadn't missed their first few land drops. And their odds of drawing a land next turn are the same as they would be if they just had a you know a no land and ten hand seven card. If Serum Vision wasn't standard, how broken would it be? I mean, I don't think it would be broken. It'd be fine. They just intentionally removed a counter from Gemstone Mine? Why? Rejected! So they have a graveyard? I mean, it's still there. Song requests. Uh, when I'm playing music, when I'm not recording a YouTube video, I do I do do song requests. <laughs> I said do do. Um, so they only have one card in hand. It's Jace. Uh, actually, pretty annoying. Up. Oh, never mind. Life is good. Lol. Oh my god. We have a full lock. The full lock. Do I want a shock here? Uh, so it makes it harder to cast Euro, but we take less damage. I don't think it matters. Just shock. Oh, we can like Lily discard too. That's true. No, but I want to cast Weirding too. I want to go Thoughtsies and Weirding and just lock them. Um, actually, Forest. Uh, I am being an idiot. Lock it up. Lock it up. Let's get weird. Preemptive. City Brass in the graveyard. No, they can have that one. They have shell lock. It's not a total lock, but it's it's very close to a total lock, realistically. We'll eventually find Euro and cast it and kill them. Assassin's trophy. Want to pay some life? Yes, we have thirty turns to beat them. We also have tar pit in play too, so. But spoils the vault in the graveyard? Yes. Yes, Liliana can ultimate too. This this is this game is a 99.9%er. .9 Breeding pool revealed. Why eat it? Goose blocks Oracle forever? Because they have no cards in hand? I don't know, whatever. Uh I wanna I'm just gonna we're not gonna tarp it at that, we're gonna make a food. Lock assembled. Wishclaw Talisman, graveyard. Our top card, Gilded Goose. Survey says. Can we have that one? Sir, may I please have a Gilded Goose? We're actually playing with our food. I love it. I love it. Good TV. Oh, they scooped. That's three Zer's Weirding locks. That's great. That seems like a pretty good matchup for Zer's Weirding, but... Okay. Okay, one and two, our first match win. So you've won your match. So you've won your match.
All right, Zer's weirding. Getting weird. Getting weird. Remember, folks, check out the Hex Holder, a new product designed to hold your magic cards in a light, easy, convenient way. Holds four double sleeve decks. Hold your playmat, hold your zibby, hold your pad, pen, light, easy, convenient. You can go on your back, you can carry it over your shoulder. Whatever you want, light, easy, convenient. The Hex Holder, buy me on the internet. Tasty. Check it out, thehexholder.com. Promo code Jim10. Thehexholder.com. Go get it. Remember, folks, I'm streaming tomorrow also, tomorrow morning and Friday morning. Lots of Your Deck Lives to do. I'll be playing Your Deck Live on stream. And that's going to be fun. Also, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, make sure you do. You want to know why? You want to know why you should follow me on Twitter? I'll tell you why. Sure, I post what I'm streaming, but more importantly, hand of the week, and even more important than that, the Zivia of the week. Check it out. Follow me on Twitter. We're going first. Man. We, uh, give me the old mulligan here. Okay. This hand's pretty goosey. Um... I think we ship a goose, probably. Yeah. To keep, ship a goose. I think the second goose is redundant. I want to have the two interactive spells, if possible, so... I'll be playing regionals in New Jersey on Saturday. Nicole and I will both be there. Who am I going to see there? Also drawn the Swamp a lot. Like, the Swamp does not cast Ur Euro. Right, make a foose, make a foose, make a food. It's a goose, make a food. Once upon a time, okay. Ursus Power Plant. Okay. Expedition map. Alright, well, um, I'm a little concerned, but honestly, if their hand sucks and you get to weird them, bad hand, please. Oh my god. Their hand is Star Sphere Ballista Worm Coil Worm Coil. We are dead. We are dead. Um, yeah. We got nothing. There's nothing we can do. No, not a single thing. We can't stop them from getting Tron. We can't stop them casting Worm Coil. Even if we draw Thoughtseize. I think we're going to game two, folks. Don't think playing Inquisition in the dark on turn one is correct. I think playing the Goose is a lot better. Maybe I'm wrong. Alright, well, that's it. That's the game. That's the game. Too fast for us. Too fast for us. So, Tronskis. Tronsky's um, seems tough skis. Ashiok don't do much against uh, Expedition Map. We are going to want, I guess Rejection's good. And I guess and our Thoughtseizes are good too. Our Fatal Pushes are bad. Decay is not good, but it's okay on the play. It can kill a map before they use it. Ashiok... I mean, is Ashiok better than any of the cards that are currently here? Doesn't really do much. They usually search on turn two, so... I guess if we have Ashiok turn two on the play off a of Goose, it's fine. Um, but not much else searches in their graveyard, doesn't matter. I think Scavenging Goose just attacks, which is not crazy. It's fine. Thought Seize and Rejection. That, that last hand was stacked, so we need a, a hand that's less stacked. Also, Tron, like, Tron should mulligan to five every game, in theory. If you're playing Tron, right, you should, you should be at five cards every game. So, we'll see if uh, we can get into five cards, and then Thought Seize them. 
Play a lot of Tron in my day, you know? Go on first. All right, tell you what. We'll do turn one Inquisition, all right? All right? Is that okay with everyone? Point ball against a six. All right. What you got? Whoa, hello. Inqui. There it is. Chromatic Star. Once upon a time. Karn Wormcoil Tower. It's gotta be once upon a time. It's a little weird they didn't cast it in response, honestly. Like, this could have just been a second Tron land, you know? Alright. You're up. Urza's Tower. Chromatic Star. That's the start. We are going to give him the Goosey and Thought Seize him. My mouse dying. It's getting really choppy. They have drawn a Ugin the Spirit Dragon. So, realistically, we don't have an answer to everything, but. Worm Coil, Ugin, or Karn. Uh, I mean, if they find Tron, we are dead. We can't beat all three of these things. I suppose hard casting Worm Coil is the easiest. Um, yeah. Guess. I don't really know what's right here, honestly. Alright, you're up. Abrupt Decay in Modern. Yep. We got one. Drawing a Weirding would be the nut. Yes. If we draw, if we draw a Weirding, we win the, win the game on the spot. There's Forest. That's not a bad sign. They're not cracking the star. That is insane. The first thing you do on your on your turn is you play, is you crack star for green. Alright. I gotta make sure this... I think my battery and my mouse is dying. All right, draw a weirding. That's not the worst. Uh, I guess it's a little awkward, but it's fine. Euro. And draw a blue source. Okay. I don't know what they could... I guess we could counter a map if they play a map. So, we'll play pay blue. Black. Okay. I mean, sure. It's fine. It's like our other graveyard, I guess. Ghost Quarter. Alright, yeah, that's 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 a thing. Yo Bloomin' Marsh. We got a goose down here, folks. We got a goose down. Alright. Rejected. So they've got three cards in hand. They have a Karn and Ugin and only one Tron land. We should draw something. Let's draw a fetch land. Damn it. Uh, there's no way this, this hits anything. There's not a chance. So any card this would hit, they would have played already. Except maybe O-Stone. It fills up for Europe. We can just, like, wait. We're only in a rush to do this. Let's just say go. Okay. 
I guess it's a card. Fills a graveyard, does some stuff. Vassal. There's the weirding and the Euro. Let's lock this game up next turn, please. And given that we're going to lock this up next turn, we're, we're still going to wait. I want to cast Inquisition into Weirding next turn. So if they draw a Nature's Claim or whatever, we can break it up. Ancient Strengths. Okay. Well, I guess we can we can never draw a blue. They can deny us the ability to draw blue mana. What's up, Wog? We're playing this crazy Xur's Weirding deck. We getting weird. So maybe we actually don't weirding yet? Let's draw a fetch land. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, fetch land. Thank you. Whatever, whatever. It's a song. I don't know. Whatever. I actually prefer the other weirding art, but this is the one I ended up with, so... Let's see that hand. Let me see this beautiful hand. I want a line on the converted mana cost of their hand. The line is 17.5. I want the over or the under. Let's see what they have. They got... Oh, it's way over. 14. Oh my god. So high. So high. Alright. And then... We lock them up and put them away with our fourth... Xur's Weirding Lock of the stream. GG Easy. That's four. So, they will never draw. Their top card is Blast Zone. Put it in the graveyard. Yeah, there's a, a an 8th edition one that has, I believe, the Ice Age art, but I'm not sure. So this is our deck. Put Zerus Weirding in play when they can't do anything, and then we get back Euro, and then we win the game. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Lock them up. Oh god. Everything's breaking. I'm gonna get a new battery. The little, usually the little, little red light shows up. When the battery's dying. Everything's locked. Everything's locked up. Uh, yeah. Run it back. And once again, if you're sitting in, this is Dominic Harvey's deck. Uh, I saw it in his article. Um, and I cut and pasted it. Dom's a good dude. I like Dom a lot. Dom plays the SG Tour a lot. Writes articles for StarCityGames.com. If you haven't followed him on Twitter, go give him a follow. If you haven't seen his articles, go check him out. Um, saw it and I had to play it. Let's go. Oh, this hand's bad. Uh, opponent keeps seven, which is also bad. Uh, it's better. It's better. I think we ship Drown him a lock. I think it's worse than Decay. Could Coco fit in the Abzan deck? You could make it fit. Be weird, though. Let's get weird. Mom Spagotter. Happy Wednesday. Resub. Welcome back. We haven't boarded in Tracker once yet, so... Alright, we're going to play Verdant Catacombs. We really need a third land here. Not going to lie. No discard sucks, too. The goal is to empty their hand and then play Weirding and then lock them out, but... All right, that's a green. Oh, God. Oh, God, we're dead. They gotta have nothing. Just stone-cold nothing in their hand. We can reject the first thing, but... We got an uphill batter. Uphill battle. Oh man. 
no lands. Pawn's got turn three Tron. This is a bad day. This is a bad day to get weird. Pawn's got mismatched Tron lands. Pawn's got nothing. All right. Land? God damn it. Oh, no. Come on. 24 lands. So many lands, too. Oh, God. It's Ulamok. Oh, no. They have a... They have a... A Veil of Summer. No? Wow. All right. Creeping Fart Pit. Creeping Fart Pit. So, they gotta have nothing. Rejected. Not a good feeling here. Agent Starrings? Like, they have to brick here, have nothing in their hand. We draw out land and we play Xur's Rooting. Expedition map. Okay. Like, if their hand is all air and we draw a land, we might have a chance to win this game. Nope. Never mind. All right. Well, now we got to decay first and then have them have all air. Map gets blast zone too. That's that's true. That's true. Uh All right. Well. Well. Oh god, please stop. Please stop. Alright, I mean, that sucked a little bit, obviously. If Tron keeps 7, he probably just can't win. Like, we draw a lot of Thoughtseize and stuff. So, that's, uh, that's a tough one. That's tough. But we did lock him out, though. We did lock him out. Signing up for this league, I think we were pretty sure we weren't going to win that many matches, but our our amount of Xur's Weirding locks has been pretty impressive. We're 1-3, but I want to finish strong here. I'm pretty sure we can finish strong and uh, and lock somebody out. All right. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit that button, that like button, or that follow button. If you're watching on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. You can support support me for free really, really easily. Just like, comment, subscribe. Leave you know, uh, follow if you're watching on Twitch. Interaction means a lot, and it's nice and free. And if you want to do more than that, if you're enjoying the stream, enjoy my content. Sub to the channel. It's five dollars a month. It's all it costs. It's less than a choco mocha latte. And what do you get? All my emotes, access to all my VODs, access to my private Discord chat server where everyone hangs out and chats. We have a great group in there, hundreds and hundreds of Magic players hanging out and chilling, discussing Magic, not Magic, everything. You get Christmas cards every year. I do fun contests like Survivor Football with free prizes. Uh, being a sub is dope. Five bucks a month. And I'm buying a house, and I don't got any money because we're buying a house. And buying a house is really expensive, so helps in that regard, too. Love you all. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, a little turn two Lily, we can keep this. We got the weirding too, so. And yes, I post my deck list for every tournament I play in, in the Discord before I play the tournament, so. Uh, start with the old pool ski, want to keep seven. Honker. Bloodstained Mire. Amazonian. Amy, another awesome raid. Thank you so much, Amy. I appreciate that. If you haven't seen Amazonian's channel, go check her out. She's awesome. I had to meet her at TwitchCon. Good people. And uh, if you're sitting from uh, Amazonian's stream, well, welcome. We're playing this card. 
Uh, we're one and three in this league, but we have four successful Zer's Weirding Locks. And uh, those don't know what this card does. Basically, if any player would draw a card, the other player can thought seize it, basically. Pay two life, put it in the graveyard. But we're playing Gilded Goose and Euro, so we can kind of break the lock. So, pretty fun. Pretty cool. And uh, we're trying. Trying our best, you know? So, Flame Blade Adept. Uh, I'd imagine my Liliana's not going to be good against them because they're playing Flame Blade Adept, but we're going to be able to, uh, to edict them at least. So, let's do that. We're going to get a green black land yeah yes I imagine the weirding might not be good against them if they're playing graveyard stuff but it's possible to play like Phoenix or something but let's get uh, overgrown tomb and take a million damage and ship the lily here edict you Let's see. Let's see. Zer's Weirding, yes. Very, very bizarre magic card. Totally makes sense the card is called Zer's Weirding, because it is a very weird magic card. And they, they're going to miss a land drop. Okay. That's how it's going to be? That's how it's going to be. Um, We got a Euro. So, let's plus Liliana. And we discard a card that is good graveyardy. We can just dump it with the use. They discard Hollow One. Okay. Not a problem. Now let's get it an island. And Euro. And try and set up for a weirding next turn. We could also have just like made a food, I guess, but now you have two draws at a land. Assassin's Trophy. Well, that's a little awkward, but sure. Sure, sure. One red. Cycle Monstrous Carabid. Okay. Um. Huh. That's an interesting one. Usually seen in Living End decks, but they're clearly not playing Living End because they have a, a Flame Blade Adept in their deck. So, they're doing something involving the graveyard. What is that something? We have no idea. We're not ever just saying go, though, so. I mean, yeah, it works with Hollow One, but, like, it's not good. <laughs> like,. Uh, draw Inquisition of Kozilek. I guess that kind of lets me, lets me know what's up. So let's cast that first. Electro Dominance Living End? That could be a thing. That could be a thing. Simeon Spirit Guide. Three red man in the pool. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna Electro Dominance here. Uh... This is super awkward because we could have discarded my scavenging use and gotten that back. I mean, I imagine they're just playing Living End. That's really annoying. All right. I guess I should have... I mean, I guess I didn't know. It's a little hindsighty. Yeah, it's a Living End. So we get back Euro, but it just dies immediately. And they get back a Monstrous Carabrid, a Hollow One, and a Flame Blade Adept. And we lose our Gilded Goose. That is all pretty gross. I'm not going to lie. Alright. Fatal Push. Okay. They've got some 5 drops in play. Doesn't really do a ton. And their hand is Dominance, Dominance, Fulminator Mage. Yikes. Yikes. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we edict them. Wait, did they not do one to the... Oh, they don't have two mana. Duh. Uh, so we're going to edict them. And then I guess just play Scavenging Use, right? Like, I don't think we're really in that bad of shape here. 
Unfortunately, they, they, dis they discarded the one that dies to Fatal Push, but... Like, if this ooze gets to be a 5-5, five five, you know, or if we draw any land that can cast Euro out of the graveyard, I think we're in pretty good shape. Oh, they they meant to do it for one, but they spirit they they didn't use their spirit guide properly. Okay. So I thought they were shooting the Liliana for one. That was my impression. All right, so land for Euro or eat two cards in the graveyard. All right, I guess we do this now, so they can't. I guess if we draw a land, they can dominance it. Oh, no, they can't. Uh, yeah, just eat two things, I guess. We could also, like, Assassin's... No, if we, if we Trophy, it gives him a land for Dominance. And they can kill my Ooze easier, so... I'm pretty sure we just eat two. We go to 14, take eight. Maybe we just trade. Yeah, maybe we just say go and trade. Trade Ooze for Hollow One, and then just try to draw land for Uro. So we can, uh... Uro can kill the Carabid. But we should do at least one of these now. Um, if not both, I can't do both, so sure. So we'll just say go. She needs to draw literally any land that can cast Euro, which is almost all of them. I don't think going to four eight. Are you going to five life, effectively six life against two four fours and two burn spells in hand? Yeah, even though obviously the ooze is very very good, I think we just block here. It makes future living ends terrible, also and. We're not going to die to the Carabin unless we brick off horribly. And we can just assassinate Joby the Carabin if we really have to, so. Yeah, let's not draw Swamp. Let's not draw Swamp. Alright. Any land that casts Euro. It's true. I didn't say cast Euro this turn. That does that land does cast Euro in the if I went to if I went to court and a lawyer pushed me on that one, they'd be correct. Alright, we'll just trophy the uh the Carabid and cast Euro next turn. And then cast Zero's weirding and then win the game. Cycle Ceradon. Alright, well I mean living it off the top, we we get a goose and a scavenging ooze, so all right, we're going to kill this. They do have two fireballs in their hands, so I'm a little concerned with my life total, you know? Yes, trophy hits only hits opponent stuff. All right, so now we get to Euro. Green, green, blue, blue. And we exile everything but creatures. And if we get to untap, then we get to uh, play the weirding and lock it up. If they have end step, living end, I think we might still be okay. Maybe not though. They, they, they had to draw exactly living end. Oh, you sicko. Don't tell me you did it. This is unreal. All right. Nice fatal pushes, Jim. So they drew exactly, what is this? They drew exactly living end. And now they get to fireball my scavenging ooze. And now we're probably dead. God, unreal. 
Uh, so you got a three. Oh, that's just unbelievable. All right, I guess we're dead. Um, we Euro, yeah, we, we can't push these. That's so sick. Oh, man. If we had drawn the, the untapped land or we didn't draw a living end, we were totally fine there. I should have guessed Inquisition for information, I'm sure, whatever. Oh, boy. No, this is uh, this is just a deck that I wanted to play. Do I ever think I'll play in the SG Tour again? Yeah, I've played like one or two events this year. I'll be playing a few events here and there. We are literally in the middle of buying a house. Uh, we close, hopefully, in May. Once we all settle down, I'll travel a little bit more. I might go to... um, I might go to... Baltimore. We haven't decided yet, but... I'll still be going to some events, mostly ones in the Northeast. Uh, you know, we'll see. Um, Alright, let's so bring in Ashiok. Yeah, they all cost 5 and 6, so Fatal Pushes there are totally dead. Um... Aether Gust, no, Decay, so these pushes should leave. Even though they have the uh, the one drop, we still have this, the pushes are just so bad, I think. Um, I guess we could leave like a few in. Courser's fine. Our discard spells aren't bad, just breaks up what they're doing. Don't want Tracker, don't want Gust, I don't think. I don't think I want Gust. I mean, Gusting like the big dumb idiots is not the worst. Um, is that better than any of the cards I have here? Drown the Lock's kind of cool. Counter's Living End. Trophy's like not good. Maybe just this just is worse than Gust. Um. I guess Liliana is also pretty damn bad against them. Oh, it's so weird though because like they have to have this two-card Splinter Twin combo just to get their cards back from the graveyard that might not win the game anyway. Seems a lot worse than Cascading. Cascading's a one-card combo. They're playing a two-card combo, you know. And Liliana does break that up. Yeah, I think I leave Liliana honestly. Like they can't just draw a Living End or like a Cascade card. They have to have both in hand to actually do it. So. Isn't there a sorcery that costs two? Let's you pick a creature or enchantment that might be better than than nascency. Uh, commune with the gods, and maybe, honestly, might be might be better. Yeah, I could buy that. All right. Yeah, I maybe mean, we got Ashiok. Let's keep whatever. Ashiok plus Leon is pretty good. We can drown the lock a uh, a living end, I guess. The old Skuski. Um. Hmm. Would I have been able to Inquisition myself, pitch Fatal Push, and recast Euro to live? I was at three, I would have gone to six, and they had two lethal attackers, right? I block one and then die to the other two. Um, playing ooze here doesn't feel great. I guess it's fine, they kill it, whatever. How I doubt we're casting Drama Lock, so whatever. Ship it. We already have Ashiok, so we're not, like, terrified of his ooze dies. If we didn't have a, a backup plan, then we want to be a little more careful with the ooze, but... Okay. No cycle. Another Drown the Lock. Uh... Okay. I think we just play Liliana plus, I think. Would it be weird to play Liliana and just do nothing with it? If I plus it, and then they have like a, a, a dominance, they can bring a creature back. But if I do nothing, and I just do something next turn with it? Ashiok and Drown kind of a nonbo? Yeah, I guess. But if Ashiok's in play, we're probably already winning, right? So, um... 
So I want this... I guess I don't need the land, but I kind of do want a land for next turn. I guess discarding the the extra drown is not really a big deal. Liliana is good because they have to have two cards in their hand to combo, and we can kind of keep them down. And we also have Graveyard Hate, as you can see with the two cards we have in play already. So, but it's only good in conjunction with those cards, I think. I'm just going to say go. I'm not, not going to activate it. Swamp. Cycle Monsters Carabid. Cycle Ceradon. But they didn't cycle either one of those on turn one. Which is a little weird, but sure. So I guess if they have it, like, this turn... No. Oh, okay. That's pretty cheesy. Alright, I guess. Uh, welcome to Modern, I suppose. Yeah, um... We can't cast any spells in our entire deck. That's pretty cool. Very fun, very fun. Um, didn't draw any fetch lands. Couldn't have played around even if we wanted to. Plusing Liliana. Yes, we can't cast spells anyway, so whatever. We draw like a basic swamp, basically. Or our other basic island. I guess basic forest is also okay. I mean, realistically, they need to draw their combo, right? They need to draw an Electrodominance and a Living End, also. This card a hollow one? Okay. Look who's up. You can sort of see him. I hit him with that water bottle. All right, yeah, I'm just playing some fun magic here. Trying to have a little fun with Zer's weirding, you know? Trying to have a little bit of fun. And they're doing nothing. So they probably have an end-step dominance. I mean, we can't cast any of our cards anyway, so... Keeper Mulligan, the card Blood Moon. Keeper Mulligan, the card Blood Moon. Sucks because even if, uh, you know, we did draw fetch lands, or even, I'm sorry, even if we wanted to play around Blood Moon, we couldn't in this game, we just didn't draw any fetch lands. They have dominance too, it's so sick. So they drew Blood Moon and both parts of their combo. Alright, whatever. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Can't cast any spells. Blood Moon, not very fun. Not very fun. Not a very fun way to end our league here. We were having a great time playing Zerus Weirding, but... Alright, well, listen. If your goal is to win a match tournament, you probably shouldn't play Zerus Weirding. But, if your goal is to have some fun, you can definitely lock some people out with this deck. Pretty cool. Again, Dom Harvey's deck. Um... Combination of Zerus Weirding and Euro is pretty uh it's pretty cool. Definitely pretty cool. You gotta have a uh, you gotta have it available um when your opponent's kinda out of stuff too, so but yeah, definitely uh just avoid Blood Moon, I guess. We have a million fetch lands in our deck too, but what are you gonna do? So that's it for this deck. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh go buy your Zerus Weirdings or whatever. YouTube folks, please like, comment, subscribe. I love y'all. And uh not even gonna say what I would fix because I don't even know. It's just too weird. Just too weird. Love you, YouTube.